Hey everyone, it's five in the morning. We are at the airport. Sorry, David, I nearly poked you in the eye. We're basically at Heathrow because we didn't tell anyone, but it's our wedding anniversary and we thought we'd go to Paris. <laughs> All he's told me is he's not going up in the Eiffel Tower no. again. because It moves at the top. It moves at the top apparently. And I don't like heights, but I feel like that's something you have to do in your life. I'm so tired, but excited at the same time. And this time, normally I travel in pajamas, but this time, because I've been awake all night, really excited, I thought I'd dress up for the occasion. Is it D? C yeah. and D. C and D. I think. I have on here my bag tag that subscriber Julie sent to me from Norway. I absolutely love this. It's really sweet, isn't it? We've made it in at long last. There was a problem with our ticket where we hadn't paid for baggage, but the nicest man ever upgraded us for free, which I'm so grateful for. Do we know which terminal we're at yet? No, Five. not terminal, sorry, <laughs> gate. This is a gate. A, a, okay. Um, now, while we're here, the shopping is actually quite good. Although it's, it's only really good if you're traveling outside of the EU. But over here we've got, um, we've got, some, we've got Harrods. And see the thing is, oh, are you gonna get water? In the airport, this is like a stereotypical idea of what the UK is like. So we've got postcards of the Queen and the Royal Family, lots of tea, and then red buses, phone boxes, biscuits. I bet in every country you have this, like there's all this stereotypical touristic stuff. And it's, it's quite funny when you think about it. Cause I don't really know that many people that drink tea. Anyway, where's David? What? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. When I last came here, the only thing they had was Dior. But now they've got, they've got a Chanel, which is actually quite big. This is bigger than the one in Terminal 3. There's some nice stuff there. Look at that jacket. Can you see there's like a, um, a Chanel like belt on it? That is a really nice jacket. What do you think of this jacket? This black one? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's nice. And then over here, we've got Hermes, Prada, David, I've got a double dare for you. Go into Hermes and ask for something called a Birkin. Just see what they say to you. No, because we were going to do that in Harrods. You told me that they'd laugh at me. They might. Or they might not. Can you imagine if on the vlog they just produced you one? I doubt they would. And asked for 15k. You ready? You can't really see it actually. It's down there. Whoa! I always worry that the brakes aren't going to work. Yeah, I know. But... What if that flat? What if that flat broke? The blower. Oh yeah, the tire. Stop it. <laughs> We've just arrived in our hotel room, but this place. I'll put the, de oh here we go. I'll put the details of it here because if you ever wanna stay in Paris, we're right in the Champs Elysees area. There is a spa here, there is a pool here. It looks beautiful. We've just walked in the room and the hotel have got their own line of fragrances and they've given us a couple of samples. I've got one on each hand, but the room smells like it. It's just really, really pretty. We're gonna go and have a walk around and see what's going on around here. This is the note that they've left us. So this is the hotel in question and they've just sent us this to say, it's actually sixth wedding anniversary. They've put fifth. Maybe I entered that information in wrong, that could have been me. 
over to the complimentary beverages we've got a Nespresso machine which is really good actually for like in the morning when you don't want to go down for breakfast this is like a good thing what have we got in the mini bar cokes oh we got champagne let's have a look oh actually before I do that what's this oh tea these milk things what we've oh my god look at this for 38 euros you don't even get a full-size bottle I thought I don't know why but I thought for that that you'd have like a full size that's like a half um, what is this these are cookies Left all our stuff at the hotel we went and had breakfast because we were so early that the hotel was still doing breakfast and we've come to um, the gallery Lafayette which is literally up the road from the hotel it's like a couple of minutes walk I don't know whether yet I think it's like a shopping center or um yeah I think it's a shopping center as opposed to like a department store thank you Right, we figured out, we figured out that we got that completely wrong. I thought it was like um, a shopping centre and it's not. There are, um, it's basically a department store. This side here, the entire department store is for men, which is a really good concept. And then across the road, this is the, the woman. So it's like, you've got two completely separate shopping centers that are the same brand and then i think they're connected by this that goes overhead so you can basically pick these labels and look they've got zodiac as oh, well yeah. that's really nice oh i like that and then you can apply them onto the handle on the bag oh, yeah, this see. is this is what i was thinking of getting this there's a mini one and then there's a small one all right let me show you this guys that's the top that's like the nano one and then the one next to it is the new size small and i think the new size small is a better option that one there the red one that's the medium which is what i've got in the baby blue but the small i don't know i like the size of the small i actually quite like the small in that pale pink with those um, badges on it i like red look at this guys this is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen this is the roof on Lafayette how cool is that it looks really nice it looks so nice like stained glass windows yeah I've just seen these massive candles okay to give you an idea this is the regular size this was already a large size but these these are freaking huge how much are they I think these are 220 which actually isn't as much as I thought they were gonna be we've just found the Lafayette equivalent of Harrods shoe heaven and it's not as posh but there's definitely loads of brands in here one thing that I really like already is that there are loads of brands I've never heard of and not even that but some of the brands that I have heard of one of the things that I've noticed over here so far is you'll get a brand that's really well known but they'll have like a whole load of stock that you've never seen before and it's really refreshing to see it I'm actually in the market for some new boots for like winter uh, oh there's Chanel down there should we have a look yeah so we've got Chanel there Prada Dior <laughs> This is the cosmetics hall that you could see when we were walking around it and this is when you get up to the next couple of floors and you look down on it. Doesn't that look incredible? That is amazing. Hey everyone, it's the next morning. We feel quite a bit better. Yesterday was surreal because we were both so tired because we'd been up pretty much since 2am and then we ended up going to bed at 11 was it 11 the plan today is we're only here for three days so we want to get as much done as possible in the days where we're here we went yesterday to the gallery lafayette and what i didn't realize i think i explained yesterday we got there and it was so confusing because they're like different department stores on three corners of the street and they're all called the same thing. But then what we worked out is that one of them was for ladies, one was for men, and then one was for homewares, which I thought was quite a good idea because normally, particularly for men, I feel like 
they're almost like an afterthought but i liked the idea that over here there is like an entire place for guys to go shopping i think i said yesterday this hotel's really nice the food's really good in it we had a few drinks last night in the bar it's really relaxed did i say we're gonna go to chanel first the flagship store i can't wait so guess we better make a move look at this cute little parisian street and there's a nice boy there <laughs> anyone in the uk please tell me if you get it's not even a joke it's fact can you see there there is a boulangerie and a patisserie when you are at school in the uk for some reason when they teach you how to speak french the only conversations take place in a boulangerie or a patisserie and it's all to do with buying bread like if you want a croissant with some ham in it I can help you. Today is actually our six year wedding anniversary and we were just saying that, so we've been six years married, but in total we've been together 16 years, which feels like, that's like a lifetime. It is. It's been a good 16 years though. We thought that we would celebrate by walking to Chanel. <laughs> Are you going to get something? Depends what they have. <laughs> like, I love the way that you think about it. Do you want it? me to have a white bag as well? Yeah, why not? What is it? Is it? This is on chocolate. It's a chocolate shop. Look at that, it's amazing. Do you want to go in? I've never seen anything like it. We should go in. That what? That is made out of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. God, it looks like rust. Yeah, it is. That's chocolate. They make it look like. Can you see the? Yeah, do not touch. Is that marzipan? I think it is. I think that's marzipan. Seriously, don't you think that looks like glass? What's upstairs? Do you want some chocolate? We can come back. Yeah, we'll come back. All right. It looks very nice. Just walk over to it. But I can't, there's a road in the middle. No, just walk over to the paper. Yeah, just have a good bit of a dance. It's done. Yeah. Oh my God, if this is Chanel, it's gonna be epic because it's massive, I know. So this is going to be the all new Chanel. Can I just take a moment? to explain how big this is. I'm gonna go all the way back here. What? No, what, what? Yeah? Right now, turn round with the camera. Oh Look no. what's behind you. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh my God. You missed it. I was too busy looking at I was too Chanel. busy looking at that. That is amazing. Can we go in? If you want. For a minute, I thought, what are you gonna show me? That was so funny. You were backing up, you didn't even see it. No. Right. Okay, we found it, and I've got to say, it's not as epic looking as I imagined. I don't know what I was expecting, but what do you think? It just looks like any other booty. Well, so yeah. I think it was because I've seen the Dior building already, and that looks really. Like, you can tell that's yeah. you something so. Probably not. I'm gonna go in there, everyone, and I'm going to... What's, what's that entrance down there? I'm going to film as much as I can, but this being um, Chanel, I'm not gonna to to do too much. this place that is called the Royal Village and it's full of really cute little designer shops. So you walk in that entrance behind me and then this is what it looks like. So over here we've got Chanel, then there is Dior, we've got like a big shoe going on here. What else have we got? This is nice. Oh look at that little restaurant. That cafe. Hang on, is that a deal Maybe bag? Sure, yeah. Is that a deal bag for a child? Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea of that. 
How cute is that? And the sunglasses to go with it. I can just imagine a kid shoveling dirt into that. Yes. Or drawing on it yeah. with a with a pen. I think it looks nice half blue mummy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to go in anywhere? No, because we've got to go. I want to get in somewhere first. Yeah, we're, we're trying to go to the Louvre and we I don't know how far we are off it, but it's kind of raining a bit at the moment. So I guess we should hurry up. Oh, what's that? Oh actually I don't know if I like that, that gold bag. I like the size of it, but Okay, let's go. Yeah. What's going on in here then? What are those things? I don't know. So we got key charms. I feel like I've got every key charm going. Are these bigger though? I think they're bigger. Look, and you get a poodle on it. I actually don't have one like that. Oh, look at the big ones. Mm, this one, this one. I always have this one. Oh, that's tea, isn't it? I looked in the mirror and I was like, I, I nearly walked into that. I was like, what is that person staring? Huh? Yeah, what is it? Um, Sorbet. Can't be. Like... Yeah, but I think that's a fake one for demonstration purposes. That must be, yeah, sorbet with um, with a macaroon on the top. Yeah. We've come to, what is this called? Um, there's the loop over there. We've come to the main, is this that roundabout that no one's insured on? This is that uh, concourse or something. Oh, okay. I'm hoping you can see all this. That's that concourse, is that? Oh, okay. And then um, that's the Eiffel Tower. It's so weird seeing the Eiffel Tower when you actually have that's never great. seen it. You've never seen it in real life. It's filming. What do you want to say? Where is this place? Well, just Sophie want to say to the the, the people of the Sophie Show Hair Channel. <laughs> <laughs> where do you know where you'll go? Yep, we're going to Italy, and it's this way. I looked at it on the map, so I'm hoping it's this way. And you said it was through this park, yeah? Yep. And if I'm wrong. It's down in history on this, on this camera. When we went to Chanel, we came out the front and we met Anna and her husband. They've both come from Sydney in Australia. And it was really nice to meet them, wasn't it? It was. And Anna wasn't going to have her picture taken on the staircase in there. I didn't realise, well, I sort of did. The staircase in there leads to Gabrielle Chanel's apartment. Look at that. They like that. Oh, look, it's on that man. That's unreal. Obviously, they want food. <laughs> what? This is amazing. Like, have you ever seen anything like this before? I'm really uncultured. I don't know the actual name of this. But then behind, I recognise this of the Louvre, the glass pyramid. This building is so beautiful. Yay, we got our tickets. And on the other side, it has got that is our anniversary date, the 19th of the 8th. The Mona Lisa is in here and I can't wait to see it. It's like one of the most um, amazing pieces of art that you see everywhere but never in real life. Oh, here we go. The cafe. And the, good sandwich. the sandwiches look so good. I've eaten so much bread the last day. Bread in England is like a swear word, isn't it? But over here. We're inside the Louvre and let me tell you, you need a strategy in order to go around. Where should we start? Hang on, where are we? I really want to see that, the Mona Lisa. That's the biggie. It's pretty though in here and it's really relaxed and calming. This guy's got like a bolt through his leg. That's got to hurt. Everyone's naked around here. Why has no one in here got a head? Yeah, for some reason, like, everyone's had their head lopped off. This is very weird. What has happened? Does it tell us? Some of their heads are here, though, actually. I love the way David waits for me. He just wanders off. Normally, it's in a supermarket. 
What's the history of this picture? I don't know. I just know the picture. Are you zooming in close to my face? No. Today? I've just seen it. It's in here. Oh my god, it's smaller than I thought. Look at it. That is the Mona Lisa in the flesh. Isn't that unbelievable? Let me zoom in. So amazing to see it. Actually, the, like the real thing. It's so weird to actually see it. David just, when you see the picture, you might understand why. David thought it was called Titien. And this is the painting. Why? Why does he need to do that? So we just come out of the Louvre. We're actually still in the Louvre building and I did not know that you've got the museum and then under the same roof there are a load of shops including Chanel and Dior. Do you know something actually? In Paris I've noticed that there are Chanel and Dior boutiques dotted around like you would see Zara in the UK. Like in the UK and London, you've got Chanel boutiques, but you've only got them in a couple of places. Here, there seem to be like small concessions selling bags pretty much everywhere. Like even in the museum, how weird's that? The other thing that I also love about Paris is that all over the place are little stalls selling macarons and they, I've just found one here and it looks so pretty. How sweet is this? Some of the cakes that they're selling. Where is David at? What have you found? Have you found the way out? Oh, oh this is nice around here. <laughs> we went to the hotel, dropped a load of stuff off. It is now about eight o'clock in the evening. We're just walking to this little cafe bar that we saw last night. It looks really nice and the menu looks pretty good there as well. So I'm hoping for a cosmopolitan. It is my drink of choice. What are you gonna have? Just a vodka. Vodka, vodka coke. Let's hold hands. Yay. <laughs> Can I advance apologize if any of this footage is making you feel sick or is a bit shaky? I'm doing my best. Yeah, this looks nice. Yeah. I highly recommend our hotel, by the way, guys. It's in a really good location. Oh, it's, it's really chilled out. I mean, it was nice out on the road, but it was quite noisy. Look at the roof. I'm gonna find out the name of this and put this in the description below so that if you wanna visit here, you can.